Hi everyone, welcome back. It's time for us to share the Jamboard. Okay, so we've created the Jamboard, we've walked through what it looks like in Google Chrome, we've walked through what it looks like in the iOS app, and now it's time to actually share it out with our students. So if there are specific students that you want to share it with, not your entire class, you could share by going into your Google Drive, finding the Jamboard, so it's in my drive, unorganized, because I opened it up and here it is. I can drag and drop it into a folder if it belongs in a specific folder, but right here, that's my Tech Together Tuesday example, the Jamboard that we have been working on. So I can click on this and I can press my share icon up here on the top right hand corner. I can share it this way, so I can share with individual people or groups this way. I can control click or right click and I can share this way. If I open it up, so I'm going to double click to open it up and here it is within my Chrome browser. I can press the share icon over on the top right hand corner and I can share it this way as well. If I share it with an individual person, make sure that you're using their .ca account. So if I share it with an individual person, I have the option to notify people and I can choose whether or not I want to make them viewers or editors. So it's important to note this. You can either be a viewer, so you can either interact with it by watching what's going on on the, on the Jamboard. So this would be teacher directed, students are not contributing or collaborating. Editor option, so if students are editors, they can collaborate with the content. They can add their own content. So know that those are the two options when you're sharing out your Jamboard. If you're going to be sharing your Jamboard with your whole class, then the best thing to do is to get right into your Google Classroom, go into your classwork, create a new assignment for them, and add it from your Google Drive. So I'm going to add it from my Google Drive and it should populate in my recent area here. So here's my Tech Together Tuesday example. I can select it and insert this. I have the option here to create the sharing preferences that I want to share with my students. If this is something that I want each of my students to have for themselves, I have the option to make a copy for each student. So this is like making a photocopy for each student. This doesn't work for collaborative work though. This is only if I want the students to have an individual copy. If I want them to edit the file, so I've created this Jamboard and I want them all to have access to this file, that's what the edit file means. If I only want the students to view it and I don't want them to interact with it in a way that allows them to collaborate and add their own content, then I would have them view the file. So this is how I can share a Google Jamboard with my entire class. So you have all of those sharing options. If you don't want to create it as an assignment, but rather as material, so I'm just gonna close this off. I'll create it and I'll post it as material. I will add it from my Google Drive. Again, my recent folder will pop up. If you are organized and you have created these earlier in the year for things that are coming up later, you can look into your drive to find it. But here it is as my recent. When I do this, it does not give them an option to actually become editors. So if you want through Google Classroom to use the share preferences that are available in Google Classroom, I suggest you create an assignment rather than material. If you post it as material, the students will only be able to view it if you go back into the document and give them viewing access. So giving them viewing access this way. So this using, sorry, going in through material will not give them access to viewing or editing unless you have given them access through the actual file. So the easiest thing to do is to go in and add it as an assignment. All right, so there's one last tool that I wanna give you here today, and it is called Save to Google Drive. It's a Chrome extension, so you need to be within your Chrome web browser in order for this to work. So if you are using Jamboard, you may want to have a discussion about a particular website or something that you see within a particular page of a website. And you can't search for that image, so that image doesn't exist here. And maybe you don't want to upload it, you just want it to live in your Google Drive so you can easily access it. Here's how you can make that happen. By downloading the extensions, you can add the extension through here. Um, you can go to your Chrome Web Store, it's called Save to Google Drive. 
I have it here pinned on my browser bar, my window here. If I go to a page and I tap this image or tap this icon here, what will happen is Google will want to take a snapshot of the website itself. So I'm going to go to this Jamboard. I'm going to click on this image here. It makes this little thing happen. And then I have this pop-up window. So welcome to this Jam, Google Jamboard, and it saves it as a PNG file. So I have it within my Google Drive. I'm going to go back to the Jamboard that I'm looking at and I'm going to click on Recent because it should pop up recently. Here it is. And now I can enter, I can import this image into my Google Jamboard. So I again can extend it. I can draw on top of it. I can highlight pieces of it if I want to highlight something. So you can do whatever it is that you need to do by taking a photo. So this is a quick photo of a website that you see using the Chrome extension uh, save to Google Drive and it saves it directly into your Google Drive. So here it is within my Google Drive. Welcome to this Jam, Jamboard PNG. So that's the file of a picture that I just took using this Chrome app extension. All right, so that's a lot of information. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out and let us know.